Guys, I'm gonna show you how to reverse sear some beautiful ribeye steaks on your gas grill. Coming up. What's up, fans of barbecue? Welcome to CJ's Q. And if you're a returning member of CJ's Q crew, thank you for being here. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We've got a lot of great barbecue on this channel everything you need to know and more all right so what we're going to do today i'm going to show you how to reverse sear some ribeye steaks on a gas grill now i know a lot of people out there are like oh barbecue is not gas grill you're right it's not but a lot of people don't have weber kettles or smokers or you know pit barrels or pellet smokers whatever a lot of people just have gas grills in their backyard. So I'm gonna teach you an easy way to get delicious, tender, properly cooked steaks on your gas grill. Uh, sorry we got a little background noise, you know, shooting outside, it happens, the air conditioner's on, so this kinda is what it is, you have to bear with me. I'm gonna get you over to the grill and we'll start this bad boy up, all right? Come on back. All right, let's get these bad boys seasoned up. We've already let them dry, Brian. Put a little uh, kosher salt on it. Let it sit for about an hour or so. Now we're gonna add a little Cosmos Q SPG. Helps if I turn it the right way. Then we're gonna add a little cow cover hot. I can't tell you a better combination for some ribeye steaks out there than this. The SPG and the cow cover hot. I I just love it. Alright. We're gonna get the grill set up. Let this sweat a little bit. Good to go. Alright guys. Uh, so we're over here. We got the gas turned on. We are not gonna turn on these two burners. We're gonna turn this one on. Alright, high heat, right? It's good. The heat's gonna come from the right side. You know, convect in there, or cook these steaks to a perfect, you know, 115, 110 in that area. And then we're gonna sear them up on the grill grates. Should be pretty quick, should be really tasty. All right. Okay, let's get these steaks on. So now we're gonna let these just come to temperature. These are not very thick, right? So we're going to, uh, I'll keep where you're going to uh, flip them. If they're really big, I would flip them, you know, while it's during during the heating process. But I don't think they're that big. I don't think we need to flip them. We're going to get our beautiful sear marks on the grill grate. It's a brand new one. We're using it for the first time today. And uh, it's going to be good to go. Shouldn't take more than like 20, 25 minutes to get where you need to be. If you want, you can use a temperature probe. I prefer to keep an eye on it. Use my uh, instant read as we go. But again, you can do what you want to do. So guys, we're looking pretty good in here. Just a nice little heat. We're keeping it about 275, which is fine. Everything's looking good. We'll come back and check the temperature in a couple minutes. All right, guys, let's take a look at it. It's been a few minutes. 124, 125. Ooh, that's hot over there. 115. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. So these are ready to go. Put my hand over that. Ooh, good loaded. All right, so we're going to use little pan spray that down all right let it burn a little bit you know, a couple seconds let me get these on as such that i can use my press on both of them okay so we're gonna do it like that not so much on top of each other Pardon my reach. Let's put the press on there so we get even grill marks. We go for a minute, flip it, minute, rotate it, flip it again back, rotate it, and then finish it up on the other side. And we should be good to go. Minutes up, time to flip these bad boys. Wow. 
the press back on. This thing's pretty heavy. Pretty hot. <laughs> but I got my little rod right here. Little, still a little noisy out here. Sorry about that. Uh, and I gotta apologize for the lighting out here. This thing is a beast. Charlie Utah. This thing is a beast. Again, Charlie agrees. And, <laughs> and I didn't want to move it around. So I'm using my body. Luckily, I'm a big boy. So it casts a good shadow on what I'm cooking here. Let it go a little bit longer. Last flip and spin. <laughs> Charlie, knock it off. Oh. Being that this isn't seasoned, that these grill grates haven't been seasoned yet, we're not going to get those deep black grill marks. But they're still going to be come out. They're going to still come out very tasty. And we're good to go. This will be the last flip. We'll take it off, let it rest for five, ten minutes. And be ready to crush these things. And uh, Charlie certainly agrees with everything I'm saying. All right, y'all. These things are done and done. Let's get them inside the house. Let them rest a little bit. Pretty decent grill marks over here. Not bad. As this uh, grill grates get seasoned up, it's going to be awesome. And have those great professional, <laughs> great, get it, great, grill grate, great. Yeah. Stick to the dad jokes. All right, guys, let's get inside. Nice and sliced up for you. It's about medium, almost medium rare. See, I told you, you can make perfect steak on your gas grill. Right? You're not gonna get that charcoal flavor, but those grill grades and that fire, mm, we're good to go. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, that is awesome. Get you some of the, you know, let's add a little finishing salt to it. Salt base down. Mm -mm -mm. There you have it. Perfect ribeyes, reverse seared on a gas grill. If I can do it, you can do it too. Beautiful, beautiful. Guys, if you want to get yourself one of these uh, doll strong knives or this custom cutting board, links are down below. Coupon codes are for there on for each of them. Uh, doll strong is 10% off. Haley Home for the custom cutting board is 15% off. Just put cooking with CJ in the checkout, check it, <laughs> and then check it out. All right, and that's it. Hope you all have a great week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for queuing with CJ. Take care.